Hi everyone, welcome to The Grace Life. In this video, we're gonna be making a wall decor, two wall decor signs uh, for Mother's Day. So let's jump right into the project and I'll show you what we'll be using. So, uh, we are going to be using in this project these prayer cards. I'm gonna be using two scriptures from there and I got this at the Dollar Tree. Then the card stock that I will be using came from this book right here. I got it at Michael's, okay, and it was on clearance. Okay, so we'll be using cardstock from there. Uh, we will be using the wooden letters. I I have them back here. They I pre-painted them already in this pink, and the pink I'm using is a sizzle pink. It's by Nicole Studio, and you can get this at Walmart. Then we will be embellishing with these pearls. And like I said, I stockpiled the pearls from the Dollar Tree and then I put them in my jar, okay? So we will be using this fine glitter, this fine glitter. Um, I got this at the Dollar General. The paintbrush, uh, the Mod Podge, and the large popsicle sticks. I did get these at the, these are the jumbo ones. These are, yeah, these are the biggest signs they have. I got these at the Walmart. So everything I'm going to be using to create this project is down in the description box below. So let's get into the project. So what we're going to do first is we're going to glue the popsicle sticks. Both decor pieces are going to look the same. I removed the jute twine off of these plaques. And I just want to show you, you can find these at the Dollar Tree. They're not, they're not always going to have the same thing on them, but I like them because of the shape. So I got two of those, like I said, at the Dollar Tree that's down below. Now in the crafter section, uh, they have these wooden pieces. So I grabbed two of this shape, which is very similar to this shape. So we'll be using one of each. We'll be using this one. We're gonna turn this around because we're gonna glue the popsicle sticks first. So we're gonna, we're gonna do a sign like this. Okay, so we're gonna glue the popsicle sticks. We're gonna turn this around. Okay. And now I'm going to go pretty close up to the board and we're going to use two popsicle sticks to secure that. We're going to do this twice. All right, so I'm going to use a little bit of the Fix All Adhesive and we're going to use the glue gun because the glue gun will give us an instant stick and that will help us to keep on working. And then the Fix All takes a little while to dry so this won't stop us from working. So you figure out your placement. lined up and we put some more fix all adhesive on this side I don't put a lot of that we'll use more of the hot glue these pieces are not heavy but we're just doing that to make sure it doesn't come apart I'm eyeballing it but of course you guys can measure I'm going to go ahead and move that aside and just give that a minute to, to dry while we do this one. So we're going to turn this one around. We're going to turn that one around and this one. We're going to do the same thing here. This one sit now for a minute. Let me just show you real quick what that looks like, but I'll show you with that one. And this is what you should have, okay? Now the hangers I did take off and we will be using them in the end because we're gonna place them in the back. You're not gonna be able to see them, but we're gonna use them. 
So now, what we want to do at this point here, we already have that glue down. So at this point here, we're going to start working with the cardstock. Let me show you what I chose. And so the two smaller pieces are going to have this cards, this uh, this pattern. It's like a lace over this very pale pink. Very beautiful, very delicate. And then from the from the cardstock, I also picked out these two. They go very well with a Mother's Day gift. So and with the what I'm with the project that I'm doing. So this is just a smaller version of the flowers, and these are the bigger version. So we're going to be working with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to mod podge this to the plaques. So I'm going to grab one of the pink, one of the small ones. I mean, and this one. And then we're going to grab some mod podge and glue that down. the paper down. I already, if you notice, I already pre-cut the uh, cardstock to the um, to the um, pieces we're using. Okay, now we're going to come up here and we're going to glue that one down. This is what we have. Okay, isn't that beautiful? The combination looks so nice. to sit and dry while we move on to the next one. So now, um, I'm going to continue working with it. I do see some bubbles there. It's not going to bother me uh, at all. As a matter of fact, sometimes this kind of settles down after it dries. Let me just go ahead and read you the scripture. For this one, uh, it's Psalm 56.3, and this one says, When I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. Absolutely beautiful scripture. I love this scripture. So what I'm going to do... What I would like to do, Mod Podge the scripture to the center of the bottom of the bottom uh, wooden piece. Okay. center that and we're going to push that down and then we're going to seal it with the Mod Podge. And now this isn't going to stop us from working, I'm just placing it there so that it gives, us time, gives it time to dry a little bit while we're working. Okay, so that's that. 
Now, one of these signs I decided was going to have Glam Mom on the top here, and the other one I decided would have Beautiful, okay? There would be matching hanging signs. So we're gonna work with the Glam Mom first. We're going to figure out the placement over here. Once we figure out the placement, then we'll go ahead and glue those down. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. So let me show you what this is looking like so far. Isn't that absolutely beautiful, guys? I'm loving that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is probably the best part of all of this stuff is embellishing this. I like glitter, so <laughs> I know a lot of you don't, but we're going to just sprinkle some glitter to glam this up a little bit for mom. your mom likes glitter that is or blingy things and it's okay if it gets on the cardstock as it's drying that's okay too I'm not I'm not gonna put a lot on. just a little bit of this okay now what I thought I'd use to embellish we're going to use some pearls What I would like to do is just kind of dab a little bit of that pink paint there um, just to cover up those wooden sticks here. Okay, this way those wooden sticks are covered in the paint too since I, just, I decided to color it in pink. Okay, now what I'm going to do is start hot gluing some pearls randomly around. Let me shake off some of that glitter, guys. Now my mom's favorite color is pink and that's why I'm going with the pink, we went, I went the pink route. So uh, I'm going to randomly place some of these uh, pearls around the sign. Okay, now I'm thinking the bottom needs a little bit of something. So um, I got this also at the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to use a, just a little bit of color just to go around that uh, scripture verse. So let me just take this out of here. I'll show you what I mean. Because we already added the glitter, so I don't want to be... I just don't like the way the, um, the scripture looks like that by itself. So I just want to put a little bit of... Um, just a little bit of color in there. And the adhesive is very good, so I, I don't want, you don't need to use, you really don't need to do anything. You don't need to put too much, you don't need to put anything on there to glue that down. I'm going to put 
foot. Let me see if I can find a small one. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, let's do a small one. No, let's do a big one. One on each side. I think I can do one on each one of these sides here. So let me show you what that looks like. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? I think she's going to love this. Okay, so I'm going to turn this around and put a hanger on it. And then we'll just move it aside so it can finish drying. So like I said, I cut the hanger off of these signs. And we're just going to just turn around and reuse it. We're just not going to put it where you could see the twine. Let me think. I think right underneath mom, I'm going to go ahead and just lay that bow down. So yeah, I'm going to glam this up because it's for my mom. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous, guys? I'm like, I just absolutely, I love it. I just love it. So we're going to turn this around and we're going to work on this one. Okay, so for this one, this sign, I decided, this wall decor, I decided to uh, use beautiful. So I'm going to turn around and find the placement for that. So what we're going to do is we're going to break up the word beautiful. Okay, so we're going to do uh, beauty and then full on the bottom. I like that. That's how we're, that's how we're going. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and glue those letters down because I like the placement. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to we're going to Mod Podge the scripture down. So this scripture is Psalm 9-1. And like I said, I just wanted the scripture part, so I cut it out. And this one says, I will thank the Lord with all of my heart. Psalm 9-1. So that's like so beautiful. So we're going to Mod Podge this. This is a really great way to use the scriptures. Well, you can come up with a lot of ideas to use the scriptures, but this is a nice way. Right in the center. Okay. And then once you get it where you want it, then you want to seal that down. I think I'm happy with the placement of that, the pearls. So let's let's uh, put some paint on the uh, on the wood stick so you can't see, just to cover that up. Okay. Once we do that, we want to put some of these gems over the scripture. And it's good that the Mod Podge is there because uh, it'll just help to glue that down even better. Even though it doesn't need it, but I'm gonna lay it right there. Okay. I'm happy with that. I 
can tell you right now that that the hot glue lifted right up off the Mod Podge. See, and this is what I'm testing out with different glues, just to see which glue agrees with which one, because it doesn't it doesn't seem like that one wanted to stay. So, guys, this is what that looks like so far. Isn't that beautiful? I am just loving these pearls. So I think we can do something else with these pearls. I'm gonna put a pearl in the center here. I'm gonna put a pearl in the center here. Then we are going to embellish with this bow. Let's see. So guys, where do you think I should put this bow? It's going to be in a different place than I normally put the bow. There. And I always go off to the side. You know what? I'm going to put the bow right there. Or should I put the bow here? Let's see, right here. Now you can't see it there. We're going to put the bow right here. one of these uh, hangers so we put everything to use let me show you what that looks like guys that is absolutely gorgeous very girly and my mom is like that too the only thing I didn't do with this one is I didn't put the glitter on this one because I wanted to do be a little bit different with that so that one has a little bit of the glitter this one doesn't but both of them will match perfectly because of the pearls and because of the background and the style. So I'm gonna turn this around and we're gonna go ahead and glue that hanger down. Let me show you So this is one. And I know this one's not dry yet, but I'm gonna show you what this looks like together. I will hang this for you and show you what this looks like. So guys, Everything that I use to create this project is down in the description box below. Um, if you like the video, share the video. Um, click like. Comment if you uh, want to ask me anything. And I will see you in the next video.